Hello and welcome to another online tutorial that focuses on shape tweening in Adobe Flash. Now by tweening shapes you can create an effect similar to morphing and making one shape appear to change into another shape over time. Flash can also tween the location, size and color of the shapes as you can see in this example here. Now in this example I've got uh, two very similar looking objects or shapes in two different layers. As I scrub over the timeline you can see them morph into different shapes and the below example here also changes color and changes um, in location as well. So this is the um, effect that we're going for in the uh, first part of this uh, tutorial and then I'll show you a more practical um, use for shape tweening. So it all begins with a new canvas, so file new Action script 3.0 is fine. So for this first part of the tutorial, we'll head over to the timeline and we'll just change the name of our layer to we'll call this Morph 1. So we'll try a couple of examples of shape tweening in this one canvas. With Morph 1 selected, we'll head over to the toolbar and we'll select the oval tool. We'll leave the stroke color black, but we might change the fill color to green. Uh, in the bottom left hand side of the canvas at frame number one or keyframe number one we'll just draw a simple circle shape. We'll move across in our timeline to frame, let's say we'll dedicate 30 frames to this. At frame number 30 we'll hit F6 to create another keyframe. Now with that uh, shape selected and the new keyframe added we can just delete that. We'll head over towards the toolbar again. Now we'll select the rectangle tool change the shape to color to a orange and at frame keyframe number 30 we we'll just draw a square shape now if, just having a look at this at frame number one we've got a circle frame number 30 we've got a square now we'll morph them or tween them by just right clicking in between the two keyframes create shape tween and flash basically does the rest so you can see it fluidly morphing into from one shape to another. So that's looking pretty good. We'll try another example. Now the good thing about Flash is this shape tweening um, basically works with almost all the uh, drawing tools um, available. So we'll try Morph 2. We'll head back over to our t um, toolbar and we'll use the pencil tool this time which works with the stroke color so I'll change that to a blue and this top uh, end of the canvas, so just draw a really weird looking shape. So that's a frame number one at morph two layer. Now I'll head back over to frame 30 and hit F6 once again. Now I can delete that, don't need it. And we'll just change the color of it to maybe a pale green color and just draw another shape or weird looking object and just repeat the process. So you can sort of see it morphing from one irregular shape to another, and from one color to another. So that's a nice, easy example of what shape tweening can do, but we'll have a look at, at a more practical example. So I've got this simple animation um, already set up, just of a little bird character turning his head, blinking. Um, perhaps we could use shape tweening to um, create some clouds. So um, we'll start a new layer. We'll call this one clouds. Um, what we'll do, we'll just use the oval tool. We'll just set that to none and make some white fill. And just draw some simple circle shapes, one on top of the other. Just do this really quickly. So we've got our first shape. And that's a keyframe number one now. Maybe I might want it to start morphing. You can start the morph at maybe a keyframe at frame number ten, so we'll hit F6 and maybe by frame number twenty we'll morph it into a different slightly different shape. So frame number twenty we we'll hit F6 and I might just move that over to here. And if I zoom in can tweak this cloud just to make it look slightly different. This won't be the best ex looking cloud around. So I'm just working nice and quick. We can also add to this if we want. This is 
move over those edges just make it look slightly different to what it was and I'll just zoom back out so keyframe 10 we've got one cloud keyframe 20 we've got another shape and we'll right click in between the two keyframes create shape tween and you can see it basically morph from one shape to another and one location to another as well so there's just another example of what shape tweening can do um, and hopefully that gives you enough to um, explore some more sort of features and techniques and ways of using it so that's basically it for this tutorial um, check out more at my, myartnotes.com my name's Paul hope you enjoyed the um, tutorial thanks a lot see you later